Good evening, this is Kuro. Got a tier 9 game in my Friesland. Going over the matchmaking. Uh, only four fat boats Alaska, Baltimore. Uh, Hipper's got good art, gun arcs, so does the Miyoko. They both can be an issue if I'm spotted. Fletcher, Kitakaze, Harakaze, and Akazuki run. Uh, Akatsuki round out the destroyer threats. The map is Sleeping Giant. And gonna give you the play-by-play uh, -play play on this game this game I pull this game uh, it's got a, a pretty significant mistake that almost costs us the game uh, that I make at the end of the game other than that this is uh, a really solid Friesland game uh, it's got a little bit of everything on uh, on how to play this ship and initially I'm making a gamble here and my gamble is I'm I'm gonna push up here to, towards B cap and I'm doing that because there's nothing really else in the area that can uh, can contest that and um, I'm, I'm kind of hesitant to, to leave this cap open in this situation uh, in case the enemy you know quickly caps it and you know leaves us in the situation if I go to, to C or A it's going to be a very long time before I can get back because this is not a fast gunboat I know there's there's usually gunboats have you know decent speed that kind of thing um, this is very mediocre speed for a gunboat this is speed flag and everything on it right now and you know you can see she's not like Grosavoy, not like Kaba, definitely not like uh, Club Air or any of the French boats. And right here is, is something critical that you should understand. What I'm looking to do here is I'm looking to spot battleships and cruisers. I don't want to push in there and I don't, I don't want to, you know, spot any, uh, any enemy DDs. So if you look closely at the minimap, I've got a 6.4 kilometer detection circle and I'm trying to use B cap uh, to zone out any any destroyers before they can push in and detect me and what's going to kind of resolve this situation for me is my Fiji's yoloing and this comes back to you know teamwork um, normally I would not make this play but I have a a teammate that he's already detected he if you heard him shoot a minute ago there he's shooting again that's telling me that one there's probably a DD around and two this guy is committing to B cap so I'm gonna push in here and try to support him and got a DD smoking up here the rate of fire four four shells coming at, or four individual volleys coming out of it tells me it's the uh, Kitakaze so this is one of those rare plays this Kitakaze, he just screwed up. And uh, I'm basically going to push in here. And I'm going to go on ahead and lay a smoke right here for the, uh, for the Fiji as well as myself. And we're just going to take this Kitakaze out. I'm trying to break his engine here. Uh, just trying to... Uh, make sure he can't leave hydro that's why I'm, I keep shooting in between the uh, the smokestacks normally I would you know zigzag my shots across his his vessel to try to get a uh, avoid saturation or anything like that in that case I was shooting specifically to try to break his engines to leave him in hydro uh, much longer and uh, you know it's it just worked out that we were just able to, to gun him down, you know, flat out. Now here, my smoke's pretty much, unfortunately, it's pretty much done its thing. And there's not a lot I can do right now to uh, to utilize this smoke. So I'm just going to leave it. Uh, it kind of sucks because it is a very long duration smoke. Um... But here, I'm pretty convinced it's only this Musashi that can shoot at me. And one battleship that only is going to do overpin damage to me. Um, I'm just going to... I'll take that trade any day if I'm, if I'm in the green. Yeah, I'd, I'd have to be pretty low health to not really want to take that trade. Like, below half health. 
So here, uh, just rotating my guns. Now this is something that's that's more kind of like a, a cruiser play. Um, this DD does not have torpedoes, and that frees you from the from the situation where you you feel like you should need to get your torpedoes uh, in the mix. Here I've got you know my team spotting these guys down here, uh, whether it's radar or whatever. Doesn't matter. I've got targets that are spotted. What I'm going to do, I'm going to try to utilize these islands around me, just like I would with a, a cruiser or something like that, and try to add my uh, DPM to the mix. Um, you know, the ship only has two turrets, two twin turrets, um, but as, as you can see, it's a ridiculous rate of fire on those turrets. And these guns... They're kind of ridiculous, and you're going to see just how ri ridiculous they get. Uh, you're going to see me switch to AP here in a minute. I'm just trying to line up this hipper. Switch to AP. He's showing me broadside. Now, watch this AP. I'm over 8 kilometers away from this hipper. And as soon as I dial in my aim, he starts showing me broadside. Here it comes. You can just see that DPM, and yes, I did actually Citadella Hipper from be, from about 8 kilometers away with the AP on this DD. And that, that should give you uh, an idea of just how good these guns are. They're, they're excellent destroyer guns. And you know, just... just trying to pressure what I can well you know while they're I've got shots and nobody's really able to to do anything about it um, unfortunately my team is they're doing some questionable stuff that's the second ship that's died really questionable and I'm concerned about this Soyuz he's broadside to this Musashi and there's a North Carolina pushing back this way I don't think this guy's long for the world so I'm making the decision right now, you know, kind of F this cap. We've already got one here. Uh, this Alaska, I'm, ass I'm assuming at this point he's going to push the cap. Um, but I need to do something about these two battleships here. And uh, going to start trying to work this guy over. And this is actually going to work out to my favor because for whatever reason this... Alaska decides he's not going to push into a cap. He actually pushes north around it. And here I was setting up to it. Honestly, that Alaska's misplay really sets up my end game where I kind of get boxed in. And my my escape plan is that this Alaska is going to push through a, and I'm just going to push into C and uh, and help take it. But I just want to pressure the hell out of this North Carolina as long as possible. And uh, you can see I'm, this little tower here, if I get behind it, it, I actually drop off. And you can see I'm, I'm kind of disappearing, not disappearing. Uh, and I'm trying to play this game where, you know, this guy looks at me and I disappear. And then he goes and looks elsewhere. I end up popping back up. And he's... The longest time this guy's not shooting because he's trying to, you know, line me up. He actually, I, I exposed myself too long. He does get a shot off, but I am able to accelerate and speed juke the shot. And this is, and there's the Alaska right there. That's, that's telling me that, ah, oh, hell, uh, kind of my escape plan isn't, isn't the best right now. I could still do it, but I I get really aggressive about trying to get this North Carolina down. Honestly, in hindsight, probably too aggressive because I should have just rotated down here and uh, went for the synop. I saw this North Carolina eat a torp. He DCP'd, and I I'm I'm this is just greed right here. Um. I'm using my HP right now, and I'm looking, I'm trying to make sure that I stay outside of radar range for this Alaska. And I just keep pushing down here. I see 
start getting shot at down here. Okay, that's three ships, four ships that can shoot at me. All right, I'm going to try to smoke up here and, and see what happens. I'm expecting the Alaska to radar. Um, but if that happens, the Harakaze, he's basically going to be the sacrificial lamb. And I'm just going to keep working on this guy. If you notice on my build, um, I'm running the extended uh, smoke uh, deployment mod. And this ship really really relies on smoke to, to be get the most out of it. Again, he, you, here you can see kind of the AP once I start hitting the upper belt and superstructure. It's a lot of DPM. Um, but being able to deploy that smoke, I believe it's 9 seconds longer. It's like 39 seconds or so, up from 30 seconds. You really get... Uh, a long smoke that you can take and kind of move around the map and uh, with as long as it lasts you can use that as an asset to uh, you know come out of the smoke scout a little bit bait some shots for for ships that you're inside their smoke concealment range bait them to shoot you once and then you've got 20 seconds to shoot them with you know guns that have you know one and a half or under one and a half second or under reload and here you just see I'm lining up my exit right here on this uh, because this is gonna get pretty dicey I'm gonna pop hydro here uh, just to make sure this guy doesn't drop off at the last minute there's the fire that I needed and this guy's gonna burn down there's my arsonist award but at this point I'm gonna pause it right here because this is this is kind of the ugly part okay we're up ships um, and I'm looking at the situation here where um, this Alaska I'm concerned about his radar his radar enables these guys to shoot me in and around islands so I am uh, I'm looking at the mini map right now and I'm, I'm making the uh, the assumption at first I'm gonna duck back here and I'm gonna look at this Alaska uh, I really want to get this guy off the board um, but you know it's it's gonna end up in a situation where I'm gonna run out of room to to move and here honestly should have waited in my smoke longer um, I was still I think I was worried too much about the Alaska's radar for whatever reason the Alaska didn't uh, didn't radar me and I end up taking a, a very decisive hit there and here pushing up um, I'm looking at the Alaska right now and it's like you know what I'm inside of its radar right now you know I gotta do something and I miss this John Bart his pop speed boost and this guy's rushing right into my uh, and you see I look right here I'm already committed I'm kind of hosed right now and this this is this is my mistake it was made minutes ago coming down here being greedy but it's left me really with no no room to run right here I've got 25 seconds for my smoke I know I'm gonna die here I'm just trying to get a fire trying to get anything that I can on this guy and of course RNG is saying no right now there's the shots and that's gonna put me down and inexcusable this is a huge misplay if you look we my death is now down brings everything down three to three this Kitakaze needs to be shooting has to be shooting his AP, his HE, all of it can wreck this guy already. He doesn't need torpedoes. You know, this guy should already have, you know, half as much HP as he's already had. And, uh, you know, this, he's finally shooting and it's, you know, this is just really rough. Now, uh, if I was this Kitakaze, I would just go south. Um he's now the only surviving member of my team left and he needs to get going because this Alaska is in the cap 
don't wait your smoke's running out don't sit there and and wait till the last minute to try to to try to get out you know he's he's sitting here waiting he's he's obviously spotted you know all you're doing by by waiting is just leaving yourself vulnerable it's you don't have any speed to dodge or anything and people can just aim right at you and hit you so you know if you've got to go go you know don't wait for your smoke or anything like that because that cost him a bunch of hp he eventually does torp the jean bart and you know we're all just like telling this guy go 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 because five minutes 40 seconds even with all the misplays it's looking like we're we're gonna win this but in my head i'm thinking five minutes is a long time now kind of the uh the move that i would make in this guy's shoes they have to come all the way back to a to try to cap it so i would i would actually come back over here and try to spot and see okay which one of them is going to try to run to a because i would expect one of them to try to go to C, and you can see the Musashi's, he's got a lot of HP. The smart thing would be uh, probably to take the uh, Alaska to A and leave the Musashi in the islands on C and basically just have him park up here and uh, just get ready to uh, to block the, the back cap. Uh, but, you know, this this move, it's safe. It keeps him out of uh, radar range. I think the issue really is that uh, he's kind of committing all the way to the J-line. And there's, there's four minutes left in the game. I mean, Musashi's 27 knots. Alaska, I believe, is 32, 33 knots. Um, that's plenty of time for this ship to to basically sail right through here and back into into a and with these islands you Bombing may not critical. well thank you and uh with these islands you may not get the spot letting you know who's going to a so right here i'm starting to think this guy's going too far we need to you know this game isn't won yet and I'm going to hand it to Moose Alert. This guy, he plays it like a boss. I uh, got a little worried here because he turns in here. And the concern being that if you turn in here and all of a sudden the Alaska pops out here, you're inside radar range. The The correct way would be to turn out and come back in. That way you're you're controlling your your spotting more of the more of the time. You're you're less likely to get surprised here. Um, we just get lucky and it, it works out in this case because, um, these guys, for whatever reason, they just kind of hang out in the sea cap area, I guess, expecting the Kitakaze to fight like a man and just, uh, you know, try to retake sea cap when there's two ships right there. So, well, this is going on, just talk a little bit more about Bliska. The Bliska captain that uh, I'm using on this doesn't have AFT. Uh, in the future, I'm probably going to make my own special, uh, uh, my own specific captain for Friesland. Um, I'll probably drop Concealment Expert and just go with a full gun build AFT. The, um, I don't think you get enough out of uh, IFHE. But uh, just run basic firing training, demo expert, uh, superintendent. Um, I got I got to look at the at what build I would make if it was a full gun captain, uh, because I do like this this particular build on my Bliska or the captain. Uh, I'll link everything below so you guys can check it out. Here, Alaska pops up, and uh, you know. Moose Alert just does an excellent job just kiting out. We got the spots on the Musashi and the Alaska, and at this point, they don't have the time to get all the way across the map and uh, and cap it. So this is, you know, the best outcome that we could uh, we could have asked for. And even better, 
Moose Alert picks up the kill on the Alaska, as I think the Alaska was turning just to try to blind fire, uh, knowing that the game is winding down. And uh, it's always nice to, uh, to get that last kill. So this was a game uh, where I, I definitely made a, a really bad mistake. And it's, it's a game that, you know, uh, definitely learned from my mistake. And it, it was a mistake that, that occurred, you know, several minutes prior to, um, to, you know, my death. But it was that decision to go south rather than to play it safe that absolutely led to my demise right there. And just want to take the time and point that out, those long... Um, you know, the decisions that, you know, impact your position, you know, minutes later in the game. Um, I find that a lot of times, sometimes people don't don't consider those to be actual mistakes. And they just look, well, you know, you could have, you know, hid in the islands. If I would have looked at the John Bart and saw him pushing that hard. Yeah, that, I would have adjusted that way. Uh, by the way, if, if you like to print arsonist and weather flags, this ship is fantastic at it because there's not a lot of HE pen. So you just, you roast battleships. Um, so if you're looking to farm flags, that's my number one use for this ship. Uh, I mean, I've, I got 10 arsonist flags off this game today. Uh, I came within a, a few thousand uh, ticks of uh, fire damage to... Uh, get my witherer as well uh so the ship's got excellent he excellent ap don't let the fact that this destroyer does not have torpedoes make you believe for a second that you can't put in the numbers and have an impact on the game uh, this is a premium ship you know here's pretty much um what you can expect uh this is a 19 point captain so of course all the commander xp is being converted uh, but it's, <clears throat> excuse me, it's a decent money maker, and uh, prints a decent amount of uh, amount of XP as well. Um, so this is a solid uh, tier nine ship. Uh, if I had to, if I had to rank them strength wise for uh, for tier nine DDs for something like rank battle, um, I don't think this. Uh, I don't think this beats New Strashumi. I still believe that that's the strongest of the Tier 9 Steel DDs. Uh, actually, this is coal, so just combine, you know, all of them. Steel, coal, all of that. I still believe New Strashumi is on top, followed by, um, by Black, followed by, I would say, this, then, uh, then Benham for whenever they decide to re-release that ship. Um... But that's that's kind of where I, I place these ships in my head as far as if I was going to be looking to bringing one of these special uh, uh, DDs out for a rank battle or something like that. That's that's the order of strength that I would rank them. Uh, but by no means is this a, a weak ship. Um, it's just uh, the the areas that I would have for like ranked battle is. DDs typically want to have a little bit more pressure on the caps, and this DD capping can be can be a challenge. You saw in this game how hesitant I was about stepping on the cap that early in the game. I really wanted to try to sniff out any cruisers and battleships that were, were pushing in the mid or something that could shoot me before committing. And, you know, I just was able to exploit... Um, the Kitakaze's mistake of just trying to smoke up and farm my um, my Fiji, and you know that that basically cleared the way for me to work in the mid much safer um, than I I would have otherwise been able to expect. So gonna cut this video off. I know this was a, a ship that had been requested by a couple people, so uh, my apologies. I bought this ship. I I think I put two videos up, and then it just kind of dropped off the radar with uh, King of the Sea and uh, Clan Battles. I just got kind of slammed. The French destroyer line came out in the middle of it, and uh, it just kind of hit the back burner. So 
uh, eventually, I'll, you know what? I'll 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 link uh, a potential build that I'm I'm going to be looking to test. Um, I got to look to see if uh, the EU line is coming out with a special captain or not, with any sort of special skills or whatever that may affect uh, my decision to either uh, immediately grind a captain for him. I'm not going to grind it. I'm just going to print it with Elite Commander XP. Uh, but and it'll it'll probably take me a little bit with uh but I'll I'll play around with some builds and I'll I'll link a potential test build that I'm looking at in the future for this destroyer so you guys can kind of have an idea of where I would like to take this because at the end of the day for for a DD uh at tier 9 12 kilometer gun range is is, is too short um you know, I, I can get by speed juking, that kind of thing, when it's I'm one-on-one. -on -one, but a lot of times it's not one-on-one. -on -one and um, either you're going to need superintendent or you're going to need uh, AFT to try to enable you to do some stuff. So I'll, I'll link that build uh, it below. And, you know, just probably in the next few months you're going to see me uh, start playing with some builds once I get a, a specific captain for this because I don't want to mess up my Bliska captain uh, I'm really happy with that ship right now and actually speaking of that I've got to get some games in it now that they've I think they've knocked a half a second off the gun reload so it's that ship's gonna be even more ridiculous um, so gonna go on ahead and uh, cut this one off because I keep rambling on. If you guys have any questions or comments, leave them below. Hope you're having a good night and I'll talk to you later.